Hello Summoners and welcome back to another Pro Guides video. I'm Crumbs and today we'll be talking about our predictions for the 15 most broken champs on patch 12.12. One of the most important things in a constantly evolving game like League is to be able to adapt with the meta and that's why we're here for you. If you know what's gonna be OP before the patch hits, you'll be ready to hit the ground running without having to test to see if that one buff or nerf really made that much of a difference. And if you don't know how to play any of these OP picks or you're just a bit rusty, this will give you a few days to brush up on them in some normals or in a smurf. Before we get started, I just want to say this list is not in any particular order. It's just a list of the champs that we predict will be some of the strongest, most influential picks on this patch. The first champ we'll talk about is Seraphine. Riot is so ridiculously tunneled on making Seraphine work as a support that this time they're just giving the champ a buff that affects her in all roles. They must really want that skin to sell, huh? After her W buffs a while back, her E is now the ability you max last, so lowering the cooldown for the first two ranks and increasing the CC duration from 1 second to 1.5 seconds is a pretty big deal. Like many of the other changes, this is technically a slight bump up for support Seraphine, but it's not just gonna suddenly make her god tier. Bot lane carry Seraphine on the other hand will be even more powerful than it already is. If you're not already on this train, hop on, there is no reason to not abuse it for some free low. Whether you're trying to learn to abuse the broken champs on this list or how to deal with them when you end up on the wrong side of the matchup, if you really want to speed up the process, you should check out ProGuides.com. We have courses from all your favorite streamers and pros like CoreJJ, Aframu, and XSmithy to help you really understand how to play your role. And if you want a more personalized experience, we have coaches available 24-7 ready to help you become the best. Our coaches are top tier players that have spent years climbing the solo queue ladder to get to where they are now and they're ready to share everything they've learned with you. Now let's get back on topic, shall we? Our next pick is Sona. Unlike our other musical entry, you definitely want to be abusing her as a support. She's been doing super well for months now, with Janna and Soraka being the only two enchanters that have really had competitive win rates with her. But with Soraka being nerfed in the last couple of months and Janna being hit decently hard on this patch, it may be safe to say that Sona is now the best in the class. She's definitely more of a scaling pick, but that's what the meta favors right now anyway, so just concede a bit of early pressure and save having a huge impact for 5v5s later in the game. Wukong has been an overwhelming force ever since his little revamp a few patches ago. Riot has definitely noticed and made some attempts at nerfing him, but they haven't been nearly enough. He's still doing super well in all three topside roles and is able to fit into plenty of team comps since he's really good at playing alone in a side lane or just wrecking team fights. Next up, we've got Heimerdinger. This is a bit more of a guess. We're not quite as sure of Heimer being as OP as most of the other entries on this list, but at the very least, he should be very strong in certain situations. He's especially good when the enemy team is very all-in oriented. If they have a lot of divers that just want to jump in and dogpile onto your backline, they'll be forced to fight in the middle of all your turrets. While the 5 damage buff to the turrets may not seem like a ton, remember, those things shoot a lot during a teamfight. Plus, you'll usually have 3 turrets down in most fights, so really, you'll be counting at 15 extra damage per shot that really starts to add up fast in long, drawn-out battles. With no further nerfs in sight, Vagar once again makes this list. He's been broken ever since his big buff at the start of the season, and while Riot has given him some nerfs, they've mostly just been a slap on the wrist. And since the durability patch made scaling champions a safer option, he's been indirectly buff anyway, so whether you're a mid laner or bot carry player, you should really make sure you have him in your champ pool. For some reason, Riot really hates when Jin is weak. Back when they nerfed Gale Force and he fell to a pathetic 51% win rate, they instantly buffed him the next patch. It seems to be a rule at that company that he must be in the S tier or higher at all times. 
Whether that's because it's just some cult they have going on or he's just getting a legendary skin sometime this year, I don't know. But what I do know is that he's probably going to remain a pretty powerful pick for quite a while, so he's kind of another mandatory champion to have under your belt. While Fiora is on the nerf list for this patch, I really don't think it's nearly enough to slop how insanely broken she is right now. The only nerf she's getting is the base damage from her passive going down from 3% to 2%. The bonus AD ratio is remaining the same, so you're barely going to notice anything once you get past her 2 or 3 item power spikes. She'll still be an absolutely monstrous side laner that can literally take on the entire enemy team when played well. For some reason, Riot thought a super minor nerf to Senna slow would be enough to change how OP she is as a support. Newsflash, she's still absolutely killing it. Turns out, the reason she's so broken probably has to do with doing insane amounts of damage, outranging almost any other champion in the game, a global damage shield, a long range heal, a non-committal root, and an AoE stealth. And she's capable of doing all of this purely on a support budget. There's just no reason to waste such an OP pick by trying to make her work as an AD carry. Trust me, even after that soul change last patch, she's still garbage as the one taking the farm. You want to keep her as a support. Up next, we have Zac. He's doing super well in both the jungle and top lane right now. Those tank item buffs on 12.11 are really treating him well. In fact, it's kind of weird that Riot was so quick to dish out nerfs to Mundo, but completely ignored Zac. Their win rates are super similar and Zac feels just as oppressive to play against with him seeming nearly unkillable while doing hefty amounts of damage when he's ahead. Another tank that's even more OP is Volibear. This guy has been an absolute monster in the jungle for way, way too long. For almost an entire half year, he's been sitting anywhere between a 53 and 55% win rate. Again, it's just another case where I don't get how it's been overlooked for so long. He's super easy to play, wins early, scales decently well, and since he's a very beefy frontliner, fits into literally any comp. I'd be interested to see them put a lot of effort into actually buffing Volibear as a whole, but gutting him as a jungler. He's doing pretty poorly in top lane and could use the love, but as a jungler, I think he's always going to be a problem since his ult makes dives 100% risk free. With all other hyper carries slowly nerfed over the past couple of months, Twitch has become the best in class in the bot lane. He's not quite as OP early as Jin, who can bully pretty much any other bot lane, but that doesn't mean he's necessarily objectively worse. He just takes a bit more work to pull off. The main advantage Twitch brings to the table is that in the mid game, he really becomes an assassin. You can very easily use him to make picks on enemies that think they're safe to farm side lanes all on their own. While Riot has made adjustments to individual hyper carries over the past few patches, overall the bot lane meta has felt pretty much the exact same for the past several months. Because enchanters have been the most OP class for supports, and supports generally dictate how the lane goes, the meta has been to pick scaling and farm up early. The lack of diversity has made it feel a bit stale. Do you already know that kind of talk brings us to today's question of the day. How do you feel about the current bot lane meta? Whether you like how it is, want to see a mix of bot lanes be viable, or just want enchantress to be gone for good so we can go back to the kill lane versus kill lane days, let us know what you want to see in the comments below. And now we're back, but with another tank in Tom Kench. Just like Mundo, Tom is very much what you'd call a stat check champion. He just sort of walks at you, and if he has the damage and beefiness to kill you before you kill him, he will. There's not really all that much room for outplaying on either end in most matchups. So when Riot decided to do a big blanket buff to multiple tank items on a single patch, it's not surprising that he's going to be one of the OP picks. And you're not just limited to playing him in the top lane. If you have a duo that likes to play Senna, you can abuse both of these ridiculous champions in the same lane. As a pair, they have an absurdly high win rate. We initially predicted that Taric would be one of the most broken champs with a durability patch, since more extended fights means you get more value out of his ability to cycle through his cooldowns. Surprisingly, he ended up doing really badly at first, with his win rate actually being lower on 12.10 than it was on 12.9. 
but now he's being played more and doing super well. Maybe it was just a learning curve issue. That said, playing him against Janna is borderline impossible even with the nerfs she's getting on this patch. If you're gonna play him, you need to ban her out. Another support that makes the list is none other than Renata Glask. She just has way too much going on. She's labeled as an enchanter, but she isn't the type to just sit back and throw out heals and shields. Her passive gives her super strong trading power right from level 1. Her W is basically a Lulu W and Zillion ult in one, and her ult is probably the single best ability for churning fights when the enemy team overchases. Finishing off our list, we have Zillion. He's probably a pick you really don't see that often, but trust me, he's just being heavily slept on. And that goes for both mid and support. He's sort of always been a sleeper OP pick, but with the durability patch making weak early game champs a lot easier to get away with, he's better than ever. All you really have to do is make it to the mid game, slow down and speed up the right targets and make sure you're not greeting on your ult too much. And there you have our predictions for the 15 most broken champs on patch 12.12. .12. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to subscribe so you never miss out on any of our future content like this. And remember to let us know how you feel about the current bot lane meta down in the comments below. Oh, and one last thing, don't forget to check out our Discord in the description box below where you can discuss League further or just hang out and be a part of our community. I can't wait to see you guys back for the next video, but until then, good luck on the rift and may the LP gods smile down upon you.